It is known that scent, color and sound can influence people's moods. But is it possible to use it to change the mood of an inhomogeneous group of people? For example, the visitors of an entertainment center. On the 23rd of October 2013, the Living Lab opened in Eindhoven, a part of Stratumzijnd 2.0 project. Stratumzijnd has traditionally been the entertainment street of Eindhoven and is known all over the Netherlands. It's a place where many people go to and the Living Lab is going to help us make Stratumzijnd more attractive, safer and a more enjoyable place to go out. To assess this in practice, an ambitious project has been launched in Eindhoven, the Living Lab, an initiative of the city of Eindhoven with the support of the Dutch Institute for Technology, Safety and Security. The experimental garden of the Living Lab is Stratum's Eind, a popular entertainment centre amongst the youth of Eindhoven and the surrounding area. We were asked by the city of Eindhoven to join this up and running project as one of the founding partners of the Dutch Institute for Technology, Safety and Security. Mainly to bring in our network of partners, companies, educational and research facilities. We take part in the Living Lab because we aim to improve the quality of life in public space. Straten Zijnd is such a public space. And what we do is look at the quality of life in the entertainment area and offer the people who go out a safer and more special experience in the entertainment area. It is actually collecting and linking data about Stratum Zijnd. Investigating the effect of atmospheric and behavioral influencing through the senses is an important assignment of the Living Lab, as well as gaining knowledge and experience with the use of technical innovation in that area of expertise. There is a close cooperation with the technical universities in Eindhoven and Tilburg, the University of Amsterdam, Fontes Colleges, the National College for Tourism and Traffic and numerous technological companies. One of the things we're talking about is the effect of light on the behavior of people. Mainly through the social innovation, we've established a relationship with the University of Tilburg. Tilburg Law School will look at the privacy aspects of this project. In addition, we asked the Free University of Amsterdam, the Spatial Information Lab, to develop a 3D model and have them deploy it here in the base camp. For science, these kind of living labs are very interesting because we do research in laboratories where we work in a very controlled environment in which we can manipulate whatever we want. But life in the streets cannot be manipulated and you cannot predict certain things and you want to know whether it's relevant in a true context. Continuously collecting data and analyzing it, that's what it's all about in the living lab. Among other things, smart sensors are being used to collect data. They permanently measure the density of the population and the noise level. <laughs> we know a few things about the effect of light on behavior, but very little is scientifically known and furthermore, LED technology is relatively new and very different from the classic light sources we have. So we can do much more with light now. We can use different colors, different intensities, we can dim and we can create dynamic scenarios. This hasn't been researched yet, so there is a lot to be done. But much more data is being collected. How busy is it in a parking garage? What are the weather conditions? What is the light intensity and color of the street lighting in Stratum Zijnd? What's the amount of waste? And were there any incidents? Social media is an important source of information for the living lab. Using cell phone counting, we can determine the origin of visitors to Straten Zijnd. Social media is also being used to get an impression of the atmosphere in the entertainment center. 
a special program looks for words in hashtag messages that refer to moods in Stratum's End. All data is centrally collected at Basecamp. Here, information is made visible and analyzed by a specially developed interface, the integrated sensor system. The theme sensing and big data, which is evident in this project, is something we set great score by the Dutch Institute for Technology, Safety and Security. If it turns out that more incidents happen when there are relatively many visitors from the nearby village X, in combination with certain temperature and a total number of visitors, a message is automatically sent to the police. When smart sensors indicate that the number of visitors is above or below average, a message is automatically sent to, for instance, municipal services. The ideal situation for a living lab is a stratumseind in which different flows of information and technical innovations are optimally utilized, where there is constant interaction and where the research of innovative technologies and applications provide valuable information for companies, educational institutions and government, at home and abroad. Expertise and know-how that will benefit us all in the future, to begin with all the people involved in making Stratumseind an even more enjoyable and safer entertainment centre. It's quite logical that we have the living lab in Eindhoven. It is because we have a manner of working which is typical for our city. So we team up with business, knowledge institutions, municipality, but also with the citizens to help the city improve. And the living lab is a beautiful way to discover new things by co-acting and sharing knowledge.